Hello and welcome to your not so annual BTS Hunger Games. I am your host, Bubbajin, and these are your contestants. In District 1 we have the baddest bitches, Miss Yoonji and Mean Holly. In District 2 we have the dog district with Rapmon and Yeonton. In District 3 we have the softest, most baby district, RJ and Jimin. In District 4 we have our nature loving baby Namjoon and his Monse tree. In District 5 we have the dynamic duo themselves, Cookie and Shoki. In District 6 we have music legends, Chimmy and Tihyung. In District 7 we have evidence of the supernatural, our zombie you never walk alone and our alien Tata. In District 8 we have the two that rock the color blue, Mang and Koya. In District 9 we have our lovely two Seok, Seokjin and Ho Seok. 10 bucks they don't make it past the first two days. In District 10 we have our Edgelords Jungkook and Dark and Wild. In District 11 we have the man, the legends themselves, Hitman Bang and Manager Sejin. And finally, in District 12 we have the two that say fuck the school system, Oral82 and Yungi. Now that all of that is sorted out, let's get to the games. Ahem. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. <laughs> Yungi. Koya, Rapmon, Dark and Wild, Mang, Jimin, T Hyung, Shoki and You Never Walk Alone Run Away From The Cornucopia. God damn that was at least half of Big Hit. Manager Sejin grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. Yunji takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Namjoon snatches a pair of say. Cookie scares RJ away from the cornucopia. Yeonton stays at the cornucopia for resources. Hitman Bang, Jungkook, Oral82, and Seok Jin share everything they gathered before running. Minholi, Tata, and Hoseok work together to get as many supplies as possible. Day 1. Tata, Jungkook, and Namjoon get into a fight. Namjoon triumphantly kills them both. Holy fuck Namjoon, I thought he was your little one. Ti Hyung catches Yeonton off guard and kills him. Ti Hyung no. That's literally your dog. You Never Walk Alone receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Dark and Wild runs away from Shoki. Manager Sejin begs for Mang to kill him. They refuse, keeping Manager Sejin alive. Monse Tree attacks Jimin, but he manages to escape. Chimmy unknowingly eats toxic berries. Night 1. Oral 82 forces Holly to kill Yunji or Seokjin. She decides to kill Seokjin. Nyuuu. Jimin stays awake all night. It's night 1 and I already feel terrible but I need content. Ho Seok ambushes Koya and kills them. Damn. Rapline really isn't messing around. Mang is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. RJ receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. It was Seokjin I just know it was. This man would support RJ even if it costs him everything. Dark and Wild destroys Namjoon's supplies while he is asleep. I don't know if I should feel bad for him or not. He just killed two people, but he's my baby Junie. Day 2. Polly, Rapmon, Dark and Wild, Oral 82, and Hitman Bang track down and kill Cookie. You never walk alone overpowers T Hyung, killing him. Damn. Namjoon injures himself. This is the most believable thing to happen so far. Night 2, Holly, Oral 82, and Namjoon cheerfully sing songs together. Manager Sejin spears Jimin in the abdomen. Oh my. Monse Tree throws a knife into Hoseok's head. Yoongi attempts to climb a tree, but falls on RJ, killing them both. Is it just me or are all the BTS members except Namjoon dead? Yoongi and Dark and Wild talk about the tributes still alive. Hitman Bang quietly hums. Hey yo! Day 3. Monse Tree thinks about home. Namjoon discovers a cave. My man really be living his best life. Polly dies from hypothermia. Dark and Wild begs for Shooky to kill her. They refuse, keeping Dark and Wild alive. Night 3. You Never Walk Alone destroys Monse Tree's supplies while she is asleep. Rapmon cries themself to sleep. Yoonji, Namjoon, Manager Sejin, and Mang sleep in shifts. The team we didn't know we needed. Day 4. Yoonji travels to higher ground. 
You never walk alone. Camouflages herself in the bushes. Hitman Bang runs away from Monse Tree. This tree is more vicious than the actual humans in the game. Also, how the fuck is it running it's a fucking tree. Oral 82 tends to Namjoon's wounds. Manager Sejin tries to sleep through the entire day. Me too Manager Sejin. Me too. Night 4. Yoonji lets Shuki into her shelter. A ship we didn't see coming. You never walk alone stabs Rapmon with a tree branch. Holy shit. Monse tree tracks down and kills Hitman Bang. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Namjoon, Manager Sejin, and Oral 82 successfully ambush and kill You Never Walk Alone, Monse Tree, and Dark and Wild. Not going to lie, it's what that bitch deserves. Yoonji makes a wooden spear. Manager Sejin discovers a river. Namjoon and Bang threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. Namjoon no, you were doing so good. You were the last Bangton member alive and you basically have all the brain cells in the world. How did you die like this? Arena event. The remaining tributes begin to hallucinate. Manager Sejin and Yoonji decide to jump down the rabbit hole to Wonderland, which turns out to be a pit of rocks. Shuki drowns Oral 82, who they thought was a shark trying to eat them. The winner is Shuki from District 4. Someone please explain to me how this cookie managed to beat everyone else. It's a fucking cookie, just step on it or something. Anyways, in first place for the most kills was Kim Namjoon with a staggering 5 kills, followed by Oral82 and Manager Sejin. Honestly I'm surprised none of the BTS members really made it past day 2 considering this is a BTS Hunger Games but it is what it is. Thank you for watching, and make sure to tune in next year probably for the next not really annual Hunger Games.